Although this video has no sound, what I'd like everyone to do as we slow down the original upload is take in what these people are doing. Their jokes are foul, their conduct is reprehensible, the manner in which they casually banter and laugh about racism and lynching is flat out sinister. What shows us how two-faced these folks are is this picture. They attended a Black Lives Matter protest. For starters, they're captured on social media reads, this is the hanging tree where we used to hang people. The volleyball players are shown in the video appearing to smile and laugh at the sight of the tree. From the video, it looks like one of the University of Houston volleyball players is driving the car they're in. According to the Daily Cougar, a student-run newspaper on the campus of the University of Houston, they allege those in this troubling video are Isabel Tuitt, a grad student from Columbus, Texas, senior Abby Jackson from Gig Harbor, Washington, and the person behind the camera is allegedly redshirt freshman Riley White Kettle. Jackson, Tuitt, and White Kettle have all nuked their Twitter accounts in the wake of the Daily Cougars reporting. Isabel's Instagram account, meanwhile, has gone private, though she proclaims to be a barstool athlete. Abby Jackson's Instagram, also private. The Daily Beast reported the camera focuses on a tree in the distance, then moves to Jackson, a grad student in the business school who was driving, then shifts to Tuit, a senior who's sitting behind Jackson and filming the location on her phone. The video continuously loops the footage of Jackson and Tuit laughing during the ride. It appears the caption was made in reference to the 1935 lynching of two teenage boys, 15-year-old Ernest Collins and 16-year-old Benny Mitchell, both of whom were black. When a white woman's body turned up in a creek, suspicion turned to the teens who had been seen picking pecans near the same creek. News reports eagerly reported Ernest and Benny's alleged confessions as truthful justifications for the brutal lynchings that followed, but without fair investigation or trial. Their supposed confessions serve as more reliable evidence of fear than guilt. While the sheriff was transporting Betty and Ernest to the Colorado County Courthouse, several cars filled with armed white men stopped them on a bridge crossing and demanded to lynch the two boys, the sheriff handed them over. The next day, the white community proudly boasted and praised the lynchings. The county attorney publicly said the lynching was an expression of the will of the people, and a local judge called it justice. So I ask you, the University of Houston volleyball player seen in the original video, is this story funny? Is it still amusing? Tiana Randall, aka Speedy T, tweeted one word, pathetic. She's a track and field athlete at the University of Houston. Cameron Johnson, offensive lineman for the Cougars D1 football program, wrote in his tweet, SMH, this is what y'all on? Local affiliate ABC 13 spoke to a UH student athlete who didn't want to be identified. She heard about the disturbing video and said she was not surprised. The way I am treated here at this university is not the best, and I think it does have something to do with skin tone, she said. So when I hear about little things like the volleyball video, and I'm not surprised, but... It is disappointing. Another student told NBC2 Houston, considering she's talking about African-American people, I don't think she should be allowed here on campus. The reporting goes on to write that some weren't surprised and said the school should expel those involved. The real problem is people are going to overlook the situation with the typical, we are sorry, we are not racist. This is the time to finally make the right decision to take steps into ending this. It's been over 400 years and we're still ignorant to the fact it's still happening, tweeted senior Latrell Bankston of the football team. Just a day prior to the story breaking, President Joe Biden officially signed into law the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act of 2022, making lynching a federal hate crime. And for the record, those who voted against this bill, three Republican white men, Chip Roy of Texas, Andrew Clyde of Georgia, and Thomas Massey of Kentucky.